Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After creating a table, you will need to learn how to select the table elements. You can select the entire table or the separate table elements, such as cells, columns, and rows. Just as with text, once you have selected an element, you can then make changes that are applied only to the selected element. First, we will examine how to select table objects with your mouse. To select a cell, put your mouse pointer into the lower left corner of the cell. When your mouse pointer is in the correct position, it will appear to turn into a diagonally pointing black arrow. When it does this, you can click the mouse button to select the cell. You can then click and drag to select multiple adjacent cells. You select rows by placing the mouse pointer just outside of the left edge of the row that you wish to select, and then click. You can click and drag to select multiple adjacent rows. Selecting a column is the same, except that you place the mouse pointer above the top of the column until it turns into a small, blackward down-pointing arrow. Click when you see it change to that icon in order to select the column. You can also click and drag to select multiple adjacent columns. You can select the entire table by placing your mouse pointer over the table until you see a four-pointed icon appear above and to the left of the table. Roll your mouse pointer up and over to that icon and then click the icon to select the entire table. You may also use the commands in the Table group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon to select the same table elements. To select a table item using this method, you must first click into the cell, row, column, or table that you wish to select. Then click the Select button located in the Table group. From the drop-down menu that appears, you can choose the appropriate command in order to select the desired object. Select cell, column, row, or table. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.